Hello folks. This is a video of a parcel of over seven ounces of Lightning Ridge opals. Um, Lightning Ridge is home to the exceedingly rare black opal and this was the first place this valuable mineral appeared. I see that there's a little group of black, min black opals right here, black roughs. Um, so that's a nice little pile right there. And due to their scarcity, black opals are highly sought after and considered to be the, worth the most of all opal types. Nestled in northern New South Wales, Lightning Ridge was first discovered to contain this material in 1873. But at this time, its value was not realized. It wasn't until 1901 that mining commenced. To find a more appropriate name for the home of such a beautiful gem would be quite difficult, as the fields have no equal in the world. After over a hundred years of mining, it continues to produce large amounts of this high-quality opal. This is a parcel of seam opal from Lightning Ridge, Australia. There is some clay mixed in, but the parcel is valued, valued on what can be seen and not on the weight. Some lovely gemstones are in here that should cut easily. The base colors are mixed. The pieces are wet to bring out their colors. There's a special piece that I saw here that I want to show you too. For just a second. Um, I'll pick it up. I saw some really nice color starting to poke through in this one. Right on the end and on the sides you can see flash. Not showing in the video too good but it is all the way through so this is clay on the outside of a very nice sized seam opal and it would have the greenish greenish flash in there now some of these black opals will have a blue flash in them and there's some that will have purple and I saw a few little flashes of purple like right in here um, if I can get it to show up is another story but even these little opals like this are worth ten thirteen dollars when polished even a tiny little gem and so some of these are nice size pieces that will no doubt be worth some money but yet you don't have to be too afraid of uh, messing these up these are not the highest quality of lightning ridge opals but they're a quality that's good enough that you can get something out of it so you don't have to say, oh, that's a $1,000 opal. I'm going to goof it up when I polish it. I don't think you'll find a $1,000 opal in here. But you should find some nice ones. Now, seam opal, it's just what it says. It's in the seams of the rock. And so usually these pieces are quite flat, which is nice for polishing. You just grind them down on your grinding wheel. And uh, on the rough setting and then on the smoother setting, you can shape them right on there. You don't have to saw them unless you want to make make them uh, cut them in half or something but usually you can grind these right down I watched a YouTube video on how to do it and that was quite interesting so some of these are good size hunks look at this one right here um, that would yield quite a bit same here this would yield quite a number of little opals um, so I think this would be a fun parcel to buy and try out and I recommend it uh, for a beginner, somebody that can learn and uh, find out the fun of discovering what's underneath the clay in these opals. So that's all that I have to say, except that the produce is for Ark of uh, Produce. <laughs> the proceeds are for Ark of Grace Orphanage in Chapata, Zambia. And I thank you so much for watching and looking at my video. I like to put this on YouTube for educational purposes as well. So I'm going to put it up there so people can see about it and also that it's for sale. I can't wait to see what's inside some of these. I hope somebody buys this and polishes them and shows me what they got out of it. I see a purple one right there. If I can just... right there. Purple. 
So I can't wait to see what's in it. Wished I could polish these myself, but uh, I don't have the means or the equipment needed. Grinding wheels, basically. And uh, so thank you again so much. Appreciate everything. And enjoy the video. Bye for now.